Hello friends, welcome to Shiva Academy. This video series is mainly to address the questions and the comments that I am receiving through mail or in the comment section. As a continuation of that, here is a very interesting question I have received. So the expectation is, we are provided with the year and we need to print the number of days in each month. Of course, this question can be implemented in like uh, many different ways. Very easiest and simplest way is because the number of days is going to be the same for all the month except February. So what we can do, we can hard code most of the things and only the February month uh, date or the number of days in the February month we can compute based on the year is a leap year or not. That is the easiest and simplest approach. There are a few other methods of implementations also. Something like provided a year, you print all the days of the year based on the leap year or not, either like 366 rows or like 365 rows. So you print one day for each day and then aggregate based on the number of days within each month. This is also possible. And one more method is print 12 record and print the last day of each month and extract only that date that will give the number of days in each month. Okay. So in fact, this can be implemented in different methods also. And I am just going to show you by implementing one of this method. And I just want you guys to try different methods. And if you're able to try different method, please put your query in the comment section. It will be very helpful for the subsequent readers and learners. Let's start. Let us start with our input here. Let's say, let's take 2024 as our input as y from dual. Let me make this as a with class query, like with d as select 2024. Let's say select y from d. Yes. Now what I'm going to do, I want to print one day for each month. So I'm just going to replicate this 12 times. So let's say connect by level less than or equal to 12. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, okay, I, I let me print the level also because we want the month. So I want the month in the like a, a two character code. So level is kind of a number. So let us convert this into a character. So for that we'll use two care function. So level, let me give the format zero zero. So wherever there is a single character, it will just prefix zero and it will prefix space also. Let's trim it. So trim of this. So this will give like a two character month. Then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to append the year so that we will get month followed by year, something like MMYYYY format. So now this I'm going to convert into a date to date of the format, whatever we just formed. Convert this into a date. So you say MMYYYY because this is the format we have generated. So we got like the first day of each month, right? Basically, we want the last day of each month. So let us use the last day function. So this basically will return the last day of each month. Now we got the last day of each month. So now from here, we basically need to extract the date. For that, we can use like to underscore care. Just put the same thing and let us extract only the date dd right so this will extract the date from the particular date so this is the number of days very similar to this let us extract the month also same thing instead of dd i'm just going to put month so let us give alias like month so we just got the name of the month and the number of days so whatever the columns that is not needed let us just comment out I'm not interested in printing the year. So let me comment out. I'm not interested in printing the last day also. Let me comment out. So we just got the month and the number of days. Let us print the month in a uh, two character code also for that we can even use the level. So this is nothing but our month or M. So this is the simplest and easiest implementation. In fact, as I already mentioned, you can implement using the leap year logic or you can implement using something like uh, display all the days of the year and then aggregate based on the month. 
even few other methods also you can implement see this is one such good example to understand all the basic components of the date so i would strongly suggest you to try these examples if you are able to find any new method please put that query in the comment section it will be very helpful for the subsequent learners and readers if you want any questions to be answered please post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail id but before that you can check whether a similar question has already been posted as part of the subscriber question series or as part of the interview question series if you are not able to find your question here please write back to me i'll be happy to record and post as a new video if you have learned something new please like this video subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video interview question sql practical question and concept videos and thanks a lot for watching this video